Well, it turns out that the temperature doesn't actually change. As we're not adding any heat and we're not doing any work, the change in the internal energy, there is no change in the internal energy, and so there can be no change in the temperature. In this case, as it is obeying the ideal gas law, the volume's changing, and so the pressure that the gas exerts on the walls is also changing. So let's have a look at engines, because these have slightly more interesting adiabatic expansion and compressions in them. So we're going to look at a gasoline or diesel engine. They work in a very similar way. It's just exactly when the fuel is injected that is a little bit different, and the fuel itself. So this engine has four strokes. Initially, we have the fuel, or in the case of diesel, just the air, injected into the chamber. This has a constant pressure because it's got the same pressure as just outside the valve. After that, so this is the intake stroke. After the intake stroke, in which the volume increases, the volumes then compress. The valves are closed so that the gas cannot escape. This happens very quickly, so this is actually an adiabatic compression. At this point, in a diesel engine, the fuel is injected and it's at a very high temperature. In a gasoline engine, a spark is ignited. And this causes the pressure to increase very rapidly, while the volume is held constant because the piston's in the same place. As soon as that's happened, the gas expands quickly. So again, this is an adiabatic process because it's so quick. And this is where we actually get the work done by the engine. So this is an expansion, and it's adiabatic. At that point, the exhaust valves open, and so the pressure drops to the external pressure, and the cylinder's then compressed again in order to get rid of all the excess gas inside the cylinder. The engine has four strokes to ensure that one of those pistons is always undergoing the expansion, i.e. one of them can always provide the work to keep the shaft turning.